right. Sweet. So here we are, chat. <laughs> Once again, the last person to react to everything, especially Genshin Impact. Now, I will say this before anybody's like, oh boy, I can't wait for Sai to see that Sino's getting a fucking other story. Chat, I'm gonna tell you right now. You guys do realize that I, I recorded for it, right? Like, you, you, you guys know that's how that works, right? Like, you, like you guys know that's how that works, right? I, I'm just saying, because I've had people be like, it's like, did you see? Yeah. Of course I... What do you... Yes. Of, of course. Of course. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh... All right. Without further ado, let's watch. Oh, wait. One more thing. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check us out live on Twitch.tv slash SayuVTuber. <laughs> Duh! Sorry. And uh, yeah, if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe here on Sayu Vods. Check us out and stuff. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Mm. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Oh, Atlantis? Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. Okay. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. Discord? The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Oh, I love Thus Fortuna. Thus did the god king derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land <laughs> and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. Literally pretty. He believed New Fontaine that the area? qualities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. Huh. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Yay! Let's take a look at the trailer! I'm the last person to watch, let's go! On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They're invited to the barbecue. They have <gasps> food, compete with each other, even cooperate. Dude, this... Okay, pop off, queen. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event Whoa. rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, it's I me. It essential to inform you all. Look, Gary, it's me! Great plan, shrouded in secrecy. God, that man's voice. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been plot power. I'm not gonna tell you what happens in the story. Putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project okay. Stasia? Project who? The plan will lose a lot of members in the process. Whoa. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Um, oh. What does that mean? Okay, also, holy crap. Finally a pop Bro. Oh my god. The wing. So, can I be honest? Can I steal that scythe for Sino? Can I steal that scythe for Sino, please? I can't. It's I think it's specifically for her. Transfixed. Dude, she's hot. Pun intended. She is daddy. An order once given cannot be rescinded. It's my boy. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Huh? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. What? I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of That's yours. my boy! We're gonna have a joke off. We're gonna we're gonna tell each other jokes. 
the wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become what? the next king of the house. Huh? Who? Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint. Oh, why am I need that outfit? It's an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. Few among us are willing to sit from a Father, glass filled with please. tainted water. We, I'll make sure Except it's drained of all impurities and returned why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. I need that outfit expeditiously. So I do hope I'm you going to pound you until you beg for mercy! Is what she's gonna do to us. Tag along. There are many dangers ahead. And I, for one, don't intend to back down. Oh? I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? The double scythe. Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. How could you? Two worlds of flame, the crimson night fades. That was, that was a really good trailer. Um... I don't know if the stories have anything to do with each other, like uh, Arlecchino's and uh, Sino's. Also, I wonder if Arlecchino's... Huh. I wonder if that's a character story, if it's like inner an interim, like, uh, Archon quest thing. Because, interesting. But I'm all about it. Chat! Real quick question, because I saw some people... I, I've seen some stuff on the internet. I haven't been able to see too much stuff. Um, are we... Excited for this for all Chino? Are we excited for this patch for 4.6? It looks uh, obviously coming from me. It's going to sound a little biased, but yes, yes. I mean, I feel like this is the most content we've gotten in a while, right? It's dense as fuck. Yeah, like I, I yeah, but only for Sino and Lenny. Interesting. You're skipping? Why? That's so interesting. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact Lumine? version four point really? six special program. I for some Yay! reason thought it was welcome. Lumine. Yay! Yo, yo, welcome. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage, but just the orphanage. Convincing. We've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Avet. Yeah! I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known as the Knave. Bro, the Fatui I'm Harbingers so are. to have been invited to the special program. Yeah! Hi folks, crazy. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes. I thought you were going to say a Fatui Harbinger, and I'm like, that is and incorrect! Although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, We've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. Fucking middleman. <laughs> Motherfucker, any chance he can get to beatbox. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. My non binaries <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes, <for day. laughs> vibes, vibes. Right, well, vibes. without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence God. reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui Fourth of the Fatui Harbingers, a poised, ruthless diplomat. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they Max, receive I hope you never change. a Agreed. variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like that outfit that is fire. From the game. Uh, Pun intended. Is there more news to hear? No, yes, not mommy, father. The house of the hearth. It's, it's daddy, chat, daddy. Orphanage. And the knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. Damn right. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? <laughs> let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Okay, Yay. Okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh, no. Hot. 
Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. Deja vu. Um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but... Let's be honest, guys. If we were able to say our true feelings, what are our thoughts? She is very attractive and hot and, um... Yeah, uh, I, I would I would join her family. She was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, is take it? it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, Damn. <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Mm. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason. She could take my money. The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lesson. I love the spine thing. By her stern like, attitude. this Probably red thing on the good. spine. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature. Mature! Than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave i want to know why are they this way <laughs> good okay, good segue good segue are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized yes Ooh, okay now that's very sharp of you oh, no. but let's keep our lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer okay okay um i do have a question though why did the children call her father Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, mm -hmm. then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Fantastic. Story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after mm. they've experienced her entire story. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I like her before 4. that. 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience what? mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing what Arlequino's the fuck is story this? quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So Finally! This mode will help travelers have a better story experience. Cool. You know? Oh my god! <laughs> right. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines. Wait, so it's only oh, available. Awesome. Hold up, 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 hold Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. <gasps> what the fuck? I promise you'll like what you see. Dude! Transfixed! Nah, she's just cool. The scythe. Interesting, she's a polearm. I am all about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we making a team. Yeah, we making a team. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very. The one winged angel, 100%. Like, that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a, yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. A ballerina of death. So effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. The what? Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Nope. Uh, oh, wait, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're <laughs> too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Please. <laughs> wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character I do receives. not remember so any of they this. They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah, 
Yes, right? very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted Dude, to pyro damage, she's so cool. which can't be overridden by other elements. That's so fusions. cool. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 How would you even build second. this character? <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so... It, that makes one of us, because I don't. give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. How would you build? Would she be <laughs> HP based uh, then? And that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack. Oh my god, what? She's Hu Tao? Uh, okay. Also, thanks to one she of her She just talents, better Hu Tao? While Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her Ooh. burst. Oh, so I'm um, that's like as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> if she's like Hu Tao, she's I actually don't savage. know I mean, how I'd like playing um, her. Right. So I'd have to Arlequino figure out how to weigh. So pair with Zhongli is yeah, what I'd have to do. Attack, right. Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her. Dude. Enemies. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, Let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Whoa, and Lenny. and Lenny will both enjoy a That's fun. boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon Sentinel. <sighs> it bugs me because I know if I use this with Sino, it's not going to turn into a scythe. <laughs> One can dream. Lintz will also become available. Yeah. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase. So okay. Honestly, if you're not looking for a Hu Tao style, both of these are kind of great units. Not gonna lie. Um, not gonna lie, these are both great units. I mean, uh, Wanderer is great, uh, great animo for, uh, and also traversal. And Baiju is a great fucking shield and healer. And a Dendro one at that. So be sure to keep an eye on. Honestly, Yay! solid banners all around. Oh my gosh, that's really so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly bomb. She's so goddamn hot. Um, oh that's right, bro. We were just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side <laughs> she's sonora but better i said it <laughs> that's right i said it are you ready to see a new name yes ready! i am ready so ready oh my god the music oh my god dude she's just so cool what the fuck was that Oh, so she transforms into it like second phase? That's hot. That's hot. Yup. 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 Oh my fucking bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call her daddy. I don't give a shit. Bro, the music? Am I fighting Sephiroth? Oh, 
Oh my god! I'm sure Marco is losing his goddamn mind over this. Wow. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Bro. So the knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in. She's so elegant. I'm in. But also super I'm duper going dangerous. to pound you until you Ooh, beg feels... for mercy. How dare you? Uh, she's going to do that to us. Also, interesting. So if it's a fucking weekly quest, if it's a weekly boss, then there has to be story it can't just be character story because if it was just character yes. story they wouldn't block uh, a weekly boss because with scar uh, with scar motion wander they didn't fucking do the weekly it can what really was the weekly boss with scar moose really just no no i'm dumb i'm dumb that was part of the archon quest have they done that it's just zhongli oh you're right you guys are right the god it's just been so long Fuck, dude. Nah, Hoyo Fair will be on Friday, Simba. Even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey. It's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge. She's all got of Ultra Instinct. Like phantom, if we're out of her immediate range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, conflict she hopes that they'll pitiless. be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But Holy shit. If you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Oh, yeah. shit. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. They sure do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like she has total control <clears throat> of the prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of Bro, and the double creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, yo, <laughs> Ito. stop the introduction here. Hey, yo, middleman, what was that? Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story okay. to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for oh. weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll- This is a great update. This is a great update. Yes, you have to be adventure rank 40, but this is a great update. Oh my god. Surely, surely for every trounce boss, right? That's what they meant? Feature for weekly tra bosses. Domain bosses. Yeah. Bosses. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they've had it for a while. The taste of victory was okay. horrible, but figuratively directly nom, nom, by nom, going nom, to the nom. adventurer handbook going to the domains tab selecting trounce domains and we had it since fontaine okay cool wow. here's one of those here's the thing chat with this kind of thing i don't remember or don't really experience it because I, i'm so far ahead right now that like it doesn't it doesn't matter that's wow. cool it's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle yeah. This is great for people oh wanting to I'm like level up their, <laughs> you know, really their characters early. Information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Great. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, more. we actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Is that a Natlin set? The Unfinished Reverie? I mean, it could be. I guess it could be. Honestly, I saw it more of a Sumeru jungle one. But it could be. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, let's go! Mixed up in hey, how did you know about that? It, this picture is right there. 
That that's a cute joke. I like that. Right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Hmm. All right, chat. Let me tell you what the story is about. So this is what's happened. All right. So in the Sino Two uh, Chapter Two story quest, what happens is. And that's it. Oh, it. Sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going that's on. That's right. Is this a case where you we get what? to use violence if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses, but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. Oh, a mysterious brother, this guy stinks! Youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Also, I gotta talk about it. I gotta talk about it for a little bit. I gotta talk about it for a little bit. Let's talk about Sethos for a sec. I posted this tweet on Twitter. I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it for a little bit. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I love this design. I saw some people were upset about the design because it didn't look like the leaked image. You mean the image the public isn't supposed You're to fucking moron. see? Like, bro, it's called Dad, concept that script art. Is so crazy. Can't wait to experience. It, <laughs> like, bro. my guy. It's oh my god, bro. I that that thing upset me. I saw some people be like, ah, I missed the the white haired cat boy that looked like Sayu. I'm like, bro, that's concept art. You're not supposed to see. You think concept art doesn't change? You really should look at behind the scenes for movies and video games. Concept art is constantly changing. It's constantly, like, sure, you could be like, ah, I'm not a fan, but you you expecting the exact same one-to-one -one from the concept art is actually crazy. Did you ever think, ah, oh, you know, maybe it looks too much like I'll hate them. Ah, uh, you know, maybe it look like, maybe we should change up the thing. Like, what the? Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, I don't normally talk about leaks, but I just had to get that off my chest because, bro, I literally saw people being upset about the concept art and when I made, it, or, or how the design of Sethos looks, which I did see a lot of people be like, oh, it's kind of like the opposite of Sino. And I was like, huh, fancy that. Hmm, almost like that is the intention. Oh, what a thought! <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness. Like, if you're not a fan of a final design, that's fine. But to expect the concept art of an image you're, the public isn't even supposed to see is actually baffling. And then I found out there was a, there was a different character that had that issue, and I didn't even know. Um, I can't remember for the life of me, but I know that a bunch of people were like, this is just like so-and-so. And I was like, okay, I don't, I didn't even hear it. Gaming, maybe, I don't remember. Uh, Hazo, it was Hazo, it was Hazo. I never saw the concept art for Hazo. I don't want to, uh, because honestly, we're not even supposed to see it. But that's why I don't like to talk about leaks because then people will take it as gospel, right? They'll be like, oh, that's what the design looks like, officially confirmed. And then it comes out and it looks completely different. You know what I mean? That's why I don't like to talk about leaks. That's why I'm very hesitant to talk about, um, you know, what ifs on uh, certain scenarios when it's like, uh, it's like, oh, I hope uh, maybe, like when I was doing the impression of Tainari of what I think it would be, I was like, oh yeah, like it did an Akechi. And then people started assuming that Robbie Gaiman was the character. And I was like, that's not even a hint. That's just what I think fits the character. And uh, it wasn't Robbie Damon, but it was very similar to what we ended up getting. So, all that to say, guys, chill, let them cook. I really like the design. If you don't like the design, that's okay. But I love, I love the white robe with the orange scarf thing. It looks great. That's just me. And also, I love that my boy Zeno is this guy because you know, I, I love my boy Zeno connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case hmm. and yes 
Concept art is fine to release after the thing is finished. In this case, it was not. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> ...with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. I don't know about that. Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support... Let's go! So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius. Yeah! Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. In Dune time. Anyway, Vikachu, thank you for gifting it to Darn Biscuit. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information to share. Does he? Wait, wait, really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting oh, for? Brother, we just presented this guy too much information stinks. too quickly. Can, can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it? Please? Oh, brother! He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> he can't keep getting away with this. Right. No, no, Dude, we're halfway theory. through the program. This is actually Let's great. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. This code doesn't work anymore. You what? Yeah, this code doesn't work anymore. It's irrelevant. Oh, hey, new area! Hey. We've already told you the story of Arlequino and the House of the Heart. Atlantis! So, why don't we continue the story Zoned of Maria, out. Think of the eight months. you saw in the beginning of the program. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, uh, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Ooh. Petricor. Ooh, beach town. <gasps> Though, that looks cute. there even be much to see on such a small island? Ha! See? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to ah, really confidently no. say. I like it. Totally. It's cute. Right. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye. Than meets the right? eye, Transformers. I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is yeah, I did where the, the kingdom event. of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious uh, and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town oh, looks look at so little cat. a lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet... A talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. I don't know what it is about their recent cat stuff, but like, sure. I'm down. I like cats. Why the fuck not? What? Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> Ooh, I like the necklace on the cat. As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. Why is middleman just me? You have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Yay, I'll adventure! the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep huh? seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so you'll be able to obtain powers related dragon. to the symphony, oh, I I was a which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Mm. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle, silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. That looks cool. It looks like a cool a design. Who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. What a grind fest, bro. So There's so it. much to grind <laughs> in this game. Yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but like, I'm very excited for all the patches, but my God, what a grind fest. But real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, right. will automatically unlock a oh. waypoint in the village of Petricor. Hopefully oh, that's this nice. this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, yay! So that's cool. good. <laughs> all right. That'll That's all definitely the information help with that, that we one. have about Fontaine for now. And now, 
outside of the region. <laughs> dot dot dot. It seems like a new style of oh, rock and roll brother. is getting popular in Inazuma. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's all take a short break. Another one. Into the next section. Welcome back, everyone. What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> okay. I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma and the organizer. Well, I know Koi is happy. Brother, Hazel's right there. This guy stinks! There is nothing. Man, Yoimiya is in like every quest. Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Yeah, mm -hmm. Dvorak. Of course. He participated Marco. in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. yeah. Both Hutao and Shinyan performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh. That's and cool. even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives off a feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> and the theme of this concert is about... They really do hate Toma, huh? Specifically... It's about a brave puppy who saved huh? the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. What? Aww, that's so Is the cute. puppy Goro? Is the puppy fucking Goro? Is that why we get a free fucking Goro? I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. God, I would fucking <gasps> hope. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. I better yes, see that, a cutscene. Here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument hey. for travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Gonna sound bad, huh? So if you enjoy Ooh. playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in a game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Uh-huh. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow. <gasps> Whoa, music. Guitar Hero! All the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. I'm down. Yeah, they really I'm are. I'm in. This seems and fun. The second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. It's gonna be fighting it's a bunch of shit, huh? Fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rockin' music oh. festival without a rockin' venue. It's so finding a bunch of items? We'll be helping Dvorak spruce oh. it up with his Neat. list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> And lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Meeting of melodies? We have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Cute. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll That's be able cute. to hear them sing. Okay. That is super cute. Okay. Exciting. Yes. I like that. Right. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? So we don't get the Wind Bloom event, but we do get Wind Trace. I'll take it. <gasps> yes! I love Wind Trace. And, and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, hmm. you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new. Is this dead by daylight in Genshin? Yeah, 18 months. Rules. So you've drave, so yeah. you've when drave. rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Shut the now, fuck up. They will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends no can try to help them escape the zone. No fucking early. But way. If you get sent to jail twice. You're permanently deleted from the game. It's <gasps> dead by daylight! That tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. That's awesome. Oh, and rebels can awesome. work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. Wow. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. 
When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high speed signaling state. Bro, what does it mean? It's it means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, 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 okay. The devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. It's dead by oh, daylight, bro. Absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive. Hey, I think with the sub. Wind's trace, let's go. Commission. What do you mean, rather strange? I like the hat. What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Regis, yeah. what? Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision, and a jade plume terror shroom, and. The millennial pearl seahorse. What the fuck? Uh, you guys heard me the first time. Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef. <laughs> you think I didn't notice this? You fucking bitch. Actually, it's because of my trip to Natlin not long ago. What were you saying before? This is getting crazier by the minute. Where did you even get First these time, ideas from? I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he oh. started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon... People in Natlon, especially their warriors, dress in imitation of their Saurians. And when full... Panoply, uh, they look... Saurian companions. That I made myself a hat based sense. on the... Those of my Natlon friends. So that's why the hat looked interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait, did you say that he came back from Nat that long? Listen, Not long. Listen, Not long. Damon, if you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? <laughs> but for now, it's time for me to introduce the gameplay. Oh, okay, all right. Not okay, long. All right. Not the way I would have called it. Not long. Not long. You got it. <laughs> you got In it. This challenge. There goes my dog. Someone showed up at the house. You can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the Okay, guts, so at least they teleport you there. Fearless difficulty. Oh. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Sure. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can check your active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. Fair uh, enough. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems it's like a, yeah, it's a battle event, but at least it's like a semi boss rush event as opposed to just events. fighting a bunch of you know heli trolls and that so kind of thing. By how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that means that so is much incredible. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I meant it. Each round <laughs> requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal oh, Harmonics plans for each shit. of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and yeah, receiver this crystals. Thing. Receiver Skip. And you can trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses. Yep. If you Genius Invocation TCG event, yeah! the Forge Realms Temper will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The heated battle mode will also receive an update. So don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mass. Yay! Event, so Double rewards. Easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. <laughs> you, <laughs> Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh, and now just change it so I, it doesn't depend on the day, and we're good. Yes. Since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I, yes, you agree? I was well, say, I, I agree, agree too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the... The, the last... last Welcome back, everyone. All right. Next up, we're presenting let's some see information it. about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. First okay. Time, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such okay. as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put oh. all missing furnishings into a queue. Great. Where you can use one click to purchase any missing components. Fantastic. And then craft your desired piece. Wow. That's great. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So 
convenient. <laughs> so makes convenient. it so much easier to do this. Will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends Yay! as your profile display. <laughs> Oh, didn't even know. Oh, oh, so this is just. Mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh, so this is just Arama in the Traveler thing. This isn't even Serena oh, Teapot. More? This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. Thank fuck! Oh my god! Finally! Holy shit! The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to finally all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Literally. 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 Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go music! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I love Genshin Bowman. Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. hey, music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So... I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Say it's not so. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Oh, 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 yes. uh, what? Uh, we need to have an answer right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. Got this. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make now. it easy and just um, be very selfish and yeah. say that I'm Ar just so Arlecchino, incredibly excited obviously. for Arlecchino. Uh, uh, right, I keep did, saying Arlecchino. Arlecchino. With her, I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so cool. Oh, totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> secret, but secret. I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. Yes. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys. The concert the does concert. seem like a lot of fun. It is. I, I, I kind of so want to do that on stream. All I can say is that I had more that fun, sounds fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So, um, oh, my God. That means, that means he's going to go crazy. <laughs> wow. I'm excited for all of those things, too. And I'm also <coughs> really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> I'm pumped for Sino's two, uh, chapter two story. And it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope everyone's excited. Yes, I am. My dog going crazy, chat. Wow, okay. I just have to say. Yeah, this of course I so plan to do Sino's story on stream. Being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with you guys. This is such guys. a great time. <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. I love you. Bye. <laughs> One day I just want them to be like, love you, oh, and then God. they'll be like, finally we're done. <laughs> uh, well, chat, uh, that is it for the 4.6 special program. I got to say, I really liked it. Uh, I actually am looking forward to this update. Uh, 4.5 did feel very fillery, you know? Uh, but this update actually feels like it has a lot of content. Um, doesn't seem like we'll get story. Like, obviously, we'll get the Arlecchino story in it. It seems like it'll be a pretty dense story, which is great. But I don't think we're going to be getting a, um, you know, like, story quest, like with Dane's Love or anything like that. Um, but it does seem like we'll get a lot or a decent amount at least, you know, no Archon quest. We'll get the Arlecchino stuff. We'll get a new area. Uh, I'm assuming the event will be the second phase. Well, there goes everything. Uh, I'm assuming the, the, uh, the event will be the second phase of, uh, 4.6. Um, and then, uh, you know, the first half of 4.6 will be Arlecchino. Uh, you know, we'll do the story quest, uh, and then, uh, or, or the character story quest. And yeah, um, but I am very, Arlecchino, damn it, I keep saying Arlecchino, thank you, uh, Arlecchino, um, but I am looking forward to it. The Arlecchino story stuff does look really fascinating, 
Uh, it seems like we will be getting some backstory on her, not just her, but uh, seeing what's going to happen with like Lenny, Lynette, uh, and Fremine. Um The event actually seems like a lot of fun. It's not as compact as like, or, or it's not as like full of a bunch of new stuff, but like, I mean, for an update in the middle of like, you know, being in the middle of like, right after an Archon quest finishes and before the next region or the next Dane's Lift quest happens, it seems like a pretty, pretty decent update, especially in comparison to 4.5, where all we got was um, the Chiori quest, the mage, uh, the, the potions event, which is super quick apparently, and um, the, uh, the cat event, which was kind of half an event. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I don't think we're gonna get anything Natlin related. Uh, like even like, I know we're getting teases now, but I don't think we're gonna see anything Natlin related until like 4.8, the earliest, like any heavy tease. Cause like, you know, they do with like Bottle Land and you know, the Golden Archipelago, that kind of thing. Um, 4.7, I feel like we may get Dainsliff. I'm at least hoping. Cause it's always near the end of like the Archon Quest, or, or not the Archon Quest, but the updates, which it, it kind of always, you know, we never had a point eight. Wait, really? What? We, I was like, what are you talking about? Three, we had 3.8. I was like, what? What are you talking about? We did? Yeah, there was 3.8. Yeah, last time, 3.8, yeah. I don't know. I mean, based on this quest, uh, I mean, uh, uh, one point in and two point. You know, we have two point. I was like, what are you guys talking about? We never got a point nine, but I'm like, point eight, we have gotten before. Hello. Uh, and if we did get a point nine, I don't remember when the fuck that happened. Uh, anyway, think about the nine months. And yeah, um, I definitely feel like we'll get like a tease of, um, what Natlin will be at the end of like, you know, uh the fontaine like we always do hopefully uh and hell who knows like maybe they'll just drop it um but i'm looking forward to everything um hopefully it's all up from here and it does seem like they are slowly adding quality of life updates that helps newer players as well as satisfy some older players with like the treasure stuff now they can do that for the oculi and look i know it's wishful thinking but if in 5.0, like, special program, they say it's like, hey, no more, like, uh, there's no restriction on what days you can grind and you can send off, especially for newer players that want to level up characters they don't have. If they can just send off characters to get certain uh, ascension materials, even better. Um, but yeah, um, here's hoping. Wishful thinking, obviously. But I'm looking forward to 4.6. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you watch this on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check us out on twitch.tv slash SayuVTuber. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. See ya. Um.